Hey guys, got a couple more tool pickups here. Uh, this is a two jaw puller. Uh, it's from uh, all the stuff came from Home Depot, obviously. In this case, the Husky. Um, I have a three jaw puller and a um, two different kinds of fan, um, fan and you know hub pullers or whatever. Uh, this one would grab onto pulleys and stuff like that. Uh, the three draw puller will get some pulleys too, but this is uh, pulleys is probably the main thing that this will uh, I've needed this for. So this just kind of gives me a complete collection of pullers to keep on the van. So that one kind of rounds it off there. Um, got this set of uh, this set of drill bits with the quick connect tips there. Uh, I recently got a um, uh, it's it's used but very gently used. Um, one of the M12 uh, screwdrivers, you know, it's it's like the drill driver except it doesn't have a chuck. It just has the quick connect, um, like the like the impact does. Uh, it's a little bit lighter, actually quite a bit lighter. And I think the uh, the profile, you know, the, from the end of it to where the tip is, is uh, is shorter. So I, I'm gonna uh, swap that around, put that one in my in my uh, backpack, and uh, leave the drill driver in my bigger tool bag uh, with the impact and stuff. So um, that'll just help me save some weight, and then uh, so, but I'm gonna be carrying. Obviously, you know these are. Uh, I have a full drill index with a lot more sizes than this. However, this is gonna probably get me through most of what I need. I may, uh, you know, uh, so I'm probably gonna end up carrying the uh, the screwdriver with the quick connect. Um, and then this drill bit kit and my normal bit kit all in my backpack. Then I'll have a can kind of get the best of both worlds because the my full size index was too bulky to have in there um, with the especially with the drill driver in there. So uh, this will be a nice little. I think this the set was only about eighteen bucks or something like that. So it's a pretty good price. Um, and I don't know if they have any any kind of warranty on this. What do they have? Yeah, it doesn't necessarily say anything about that. Hmm. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, I seem to remember them having like a bit breakage warranty or something. I could be wrong about that though. Anyway, so neither here nor there. That's what that is. It's a uh, the Milwaukee drill bits seem like they're pretty decent quality. Um, I've only broken a couple of the smaller ones in my original kit and the rest have been fine. I also doled one of them by drilling aluminum with no uh, no lubricant. So that was just a, uh, I think that was my 5 16th drill bit. So I got to get a new one of those or get that one sharpened. But uh, either here or there, that was my fault. So all the rest of them lasted really good. So, and last but not least, uh, kind of, I, my, uh, this uh, nice little fixed blade knife kind of caught my eye. Um, I really like the the handle. Uh, it's very uh, very comfortable in the hand. It's a hard plastic, but it's still it's shaped very nice. I personally would rather it not be like you know the bright Milwaukee red, but you know what are you gonna do? It's a Milwaukee tool. They're gonna you know they're gonna make it red. So um, I would have personally just preferred black or green or you know something a little more low key. But well, whatever. It's a um, so it's just a pretty nice knife. Uh, nice hard sheath uh, clips in there pretty you know oh yeah once you clip it in it's in there good so um a nice simple belt clip there the case seems rugged and seems like it'd just be a good job site knife um so yeah not really something i needed i usually carry around a little folding pocket knife but uh that one's kind of sentimental to me and uh i would uh I don't really want to use it for work too much more. You know, I probably want to put that just on my shelf or something. It's uh, something I've had for a long time. So this will be just kind of a, uh, um, if I know I need uh, need a knife. I don't I don't think this will be like an everyday carry for me. It's a little, I don't necessarily like having a, a knife on my on my belt all the time. It's not really, it's, uh, not really my style, but um, I might find a way to carry it. We'll, we'll see, but uh, it, it'll, uh, it's just like I said, it was, it's an F. Anyways, I bought it because I wanted it. <laughs> Long story short, it's a nice knife, and uh, it also has a, uh, a lifetime warranty. So I'm not sure exactly how that works. If I don't, 
I don't know if I can just abuse the <laughs> abuse the shit out of this thing and send it back to him and or or whatever. But it does say it has a, uh, a lifetime warranty, so I uh, I saved the, uh, the little paper card that came in the packaging, and uh, I'm gonna take him up on that. So um, a knife with a lifetime warranty for 14 bucks. That's uh, that's not bad. So and it is indeed very uh, very very sharp. So and they they claim it'll. Uh, It'll hold its edge for a long time, so we'll see. It seems like it's pretty well made. It is a full tang, so it you know, goes all the way to the end here, as you can see. The handle's just cast over it. So we'll just, we'll just put it to the test. It should be a pretty nice knife. I already have an insulation knife. You know, the double, uh, it's a little bit longer than this. You know, the Klein one. Uh, you know, double. it's double-bladed, and it's got uh, serrations on one side for kind of uh, sawing through stuff or whatever. So this one, as I said, this is more of like a... Um, camping kind of knife hiking kind of thing you just a uh, uh like a you know, buck knife or something like that so um and it would probably be a good yeah, could be good for work too so. all right i just got this cheap little auto attachment kit for my uh shop back here um nothing too fancy so this is a straight brush attachment a little angle brush here the angle brush has kind of stiffer bristles. Both pretty soft though. A little mini chisel tip. And then we got some little mini extensions here as well. I just figured it'd be a good uh, addition. I think I only paid about eight bucks for it. This little cheap Chinese kit, you know. So I figured it'd be a good addition for this. This does have a uh, a trigger lock on it, so you can turn it on and, and just you know set it down somewhere and, and use it for. Um, I think they would call this like a car detailing kit, but there's been other there's obviously other applications for it. Just getting into small nooks and crannies and seem like the just exactly what you'd want with a small little vacuum like that. And uh, I also kind of went ahead and made myself a cleanup kind of cleanup bag here. I think is a. Uh, this takes up a little bit too much room in my regular carry bag, so I kind of had to start a new bag for it, which is not a bad idea. So I'm going to put some, I got some isopropyl alcohol, apparently a, some kind of bug as well. The bath down there. Isopropyl alcohol, some swabs, uh, one of those coil brush thingies, uh, some lighter fluid, and magic eraser, a couple rags on the outside. I might add, uh, add maybe some more stuff to here too. But for now, I'm going to put the vacuum back in and add this little kit in the side pockets or whatever. I have to do a video on all my tool bags. Kind of my daily tool bags, if you will. A couple things I forgot to mention here. I'm not sure. They had some holes on here with like a. You can twist this. Not quite sure what they were going for there. But I just went ahead and taped it up. <laughs> Um, yeah, that doesn't make more sense. I think this is for adapting to like different size hoses or something like that. Kind of gives you the multi-step there. So I'll throw that in my, uh, just in with my regular shop back hoses and stuff. Um, but I won't be needing it for this. This, uh, little nozzle thing right here is all I need. Fits right on there. It's an item I picked up at the auto parts store today when I was, uh, getting that uh, brake fluid for the truck. That video will probably be uploaded before this, so yeah, the Dodge truck that is the, the brakes on. We'll clip a couple clips from there. So it's a non-marring pick set, as you can clearly see here. Uh, they're like made of uh, you know, like glass fiber, reinforced plastic, like really like stiff plastic. And uh, you know they advertise it for pulling O-rings and stuff out of uh, places you don't want to get all scratched up. Which there's definitely a lot of applications in automotive actually. Uh, but I was mostly thinking of uh, they'd be useful for picking at uh, maybe uh, other plastic stuff or just they'd be a good useful tool in general anyways and it was about eight bucks or something like that so it's a really good buy. You can hear the glass fiber in there just get some glass fiber ASMR here. Oh, microphone's over here. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, those will be really nice and strong, I'm sure. They're definitely sharp as shit, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, those are dangerous. 
I'm going to have to keep those. Uh, you can put some rubber caps over those or something. A, so they don't lose their sharpness because you want them to be sharp when you need them. But, jeez, those are killers. Dan yeah, oh, man. Yeah, you really wouldn't want that going through your finger. This doesn't need much explanation. Just a basic punch and chisel set because I'm a scrub for not having one in the first place. Yeah, by the way, these have a lifetime replacement guarantee. I'm, I'm sure the uh, random eBay seller I bought these from will be sure to honor that. Got some new Dickie shorts too. Look at that. That counts as tools. In communities across America, there's people working differently. Made with felonies for trail polyester. 